So our first problem is the integral of 1 over the quantity x squared minus 6x plus 18, quantity raised to 3 halves. So meron pa rin tayong square root kasi nire-raise natin siya to 1 half then i-cube natin pagkatapos. No? So the form is still there. Now if you notice, hindi na siya yung straightforward na x squared minus a squared or a squared minus x squared or a squared plus x squared. No? So we'll have to be a bit more creative dun sa approach natin. So if you take a look at the trinomial sa loob ng parenthesis, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng completing the square para magkaroon tayo ng expression na something squared, binomial squared. So how do we do that? We take a look at x squared minus 6x. Ano ba yung kailangan niya para maging perfect square trinomial siya? E di 9. So kuha tayo ng isang 9 dun sa 18 at i-rewrite natin siya as follows. So x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 9. Then, quantity raised to 3 halves, nasa denominator siya, dx sa taas, hinahanap natin yung integral ng expression na yun. Now, yung x squared minus 6x plus 9, pwede natin siyang isulat na binomial squared na. Like so. So, that is equal to x minus 3 quantity squared. Eh, the whole thing, syempre, may plus 9 tayo sa labas. At this point, you may want to use yung basic substitution na let u be equal to x minus 3 para hindi tayo masyadong malito pero I think okay lang naman na isulat natin siya like this or ganito yung gamitin nating trig substitution first we identify no that a is equal to 3 yung, yung constant natin representing a squared is 9 so we're always taking yung positive na value ni a so a is equal to 3 and then instead of x equals 3 tangent theta yung x minus 3 kasi yung naka square so x minus 3 is equal to a tangent theta or 3 tangent theta. Bakit ulit tangent? Kasi plus yung operator sa loob. So unrestricted tayo sa values ni x minus 3 squared. Tangent yung gagamitin natin. So this means that x is equal to 3 tangent theta plus 3. Plus siya dapat. And dx is equal to yung derivative ni 3 tangent theta plus 3. Uh, 3 secant squared theta d theta. Siyempre yung 3 sa dulo, yung plus 3. Derivative niya mag zero. We are now ready to apply the trigonometric substitutions dun sa huli nating equivalent expression nung given. So we'll write this as equal to the integral of, well, dx muna. dx will be 3 secant squared theta. Yung d theta, ilagay na lang natin sa dulo pagkatapos. All over the quantity, 9 tangent squared theta. Kasi x minus 3 squared eh. And x minus 3 is equal to 3 tangent theta. Plus 9 raised to 3 halves d theta. Our first step will be to take out no, itong 9 dun sa loob ng parenthesis. Notice hindi na siya square root. So, it's 3 over 2. So, pag nilabas natin yung 9, ang ilalabas natin ay factor na 9 raised to 3 halves. 9 raised to 3 halves is the square root of 9, which is 3, raised to the third power, which will be 27. So, that will give us uh, 3 secant squared theta pa rin sa numerator all over 27 times the quantity tangent squared plus 1 raised to 3 halves d theta. Now, for our next step, what we'll do is we'll take itong 3 and itong 27 sa baba, that's equal to 1 over 9, ilalabas na natin siya sa ating integral, and then si tangent squared plus 1, applyan na natin ang Pythagorean identity, at isulat na natin siya na secant squared theta. So, we'll have 1 over 9 times the integral, yung numerator pa rin is secant squared theta, our denominator will be secant squared theta raised to 3 halves d theta. So yung secant squared, yung square sa loob, it will cancel out with yung over 2 sa labas. So this will be equivalent to secant squared over secant cube or, well, 1 over secant. So tuloy natin dun. This is equal to 1 over 9 times the integral of 1 over secant theta d theta. We know that this is equal to 1 over 9 times the integral of cosine theta and we know the integral of cosine theta is sine theta. So, our equivalent expression, after natin mag-integrate, ay 1 over 9 sine theta plus c. And we know that we're not yet done. Kasi ang kailangan natin ay x, no? So, we'll go to our right triangle. And the trigonometric substitution na ginamit natin ay x minus 3 equals 3 times tangent theta. Which means that tangent theta is equal to x minus 3 over 3. 
Now, tangent is opposite over adjacent with respect to theta. So this side will have a length of x minus 3 and yung adjacent side, this one, will have a length of 3. That means we'll need to compute for the third side, the hypotenuse, that will be equal to the square root of the sum of x minus 3 quantity squared plus 9. Ano ulit yung kailangan natin? Kailangan natin si sine theta. So sine, sine theta is equal to, well siguro yung nasa loob ng radicand, expand na natin, it will be equal to the numerator x minus 3 all over the square root of x squared minus 6x plus 18. Ito din yung radical expression na nandun sa given. So let's go back to our solution. Okay. At mag-apply tayo ng back substitution. Ngayong alam na natin na ang sine theta ay equal sa x minus 3 all over square root of x squared minus 6x plus 18. So this means our given will be equal to 1 over 9 times x minus 3 all over square root of x squared minus 6x plus 18 plus our constant of integration. So we'll highlight this as our final answer.